31 matches, 49 wickets. Magnificent. Here he goes. Watch out for that big in-dipper. And watch out West Indies because they had a torrid time against Chaminda Vas with particularly that kind of delivery that came in sharply from off stump back towards middle and leg. And you're saying he's lost it? Well, this breeze that we've talked about a long time is coming from bottom left to top right of the screen, coming across the wicket. If there's ever a, a series or a, a couple of matches where he'll get it back, it's right now because the breeze is assisting it and it was there just enough. You don't have to swing it a foot or two, do you? You just need to swing it half the width of the bat and you can fool a batsman and have him out. And importantly, where you pitch it, I think Chaminda Vaz uh, is an excellent opponent, exponent of uh, how to bowl the in-swinger early with the new ball because he gets it absolutely right in those areas where they matter. And that's a good area. It's full, dragging the batsman onto the front foot, but not confidently. Played a really solid defensive shot. There's three men in there to prevent a, an easy drop-and-run single, as there generally is in uh, these one-day international starts. Again, it's just shaping into the right-hander nicely in this blustery wind that we have here. Ooh. All the viewers can have your say at IOC at TajTV.com throughout the day. Oh, there's an early shout. The umpire wants nothing to do with it. Xavier Marshall just 17 runs in four test match innings in the recently concluded two test match series and uh, on a couple of occasions at least he got himself in trouble playing across the line to the ball that was coming back to him. Good decision by the umpire that ball would have gone on to miss the leg stump. Again on the front foot he's picked up one and makes it very successfully the thing I've got I think that, that that is in the advantage of the West Indian team having played pretty poorly in uh, the two test matches against Sri Lanka is that the one day game almost tells you how you've got to play you know the game is probably demanding that they have to score at four and over to start with here and and then uh, later on in the innings it tells you how you've got to bat and then the bowlers if they can just keep it tight for ten overs spells so, so the game helps you out a bit. And if you can be enthusiastic and passionate about what you're doing, you can get yourself over the line at times. Ah! Big appeal this time, Xavier Marshall. Half onto the front foot, gets away with another. It's a problem with him. Doesn't seem to pick the swing of the ball, especially when it's dipping in. And that can set him back because he's always worrying about his technique and not looking forward. Irfan Patan uh, feels that he's got his in-dipper going for him. Did struggle with his bowling against uh, Pakistan in that last series, but uh, he's had a stint with uh, County in England. That must have helped uh, him get into that uh, good cricketing groove. Oh, again, they're up. Neither batsman confident, comfortable with the swing and the pace of the Indian attack. Stuck uh, in his initial movement there, that front foot coming down and then going nowhere after that. And really was away from the ball, falling over. Weak footwork and uh, weak technique. Again, and this time so too is the umpire's finger. The first wicket falls with one run on the board. This could be marked down to poor technique. Irfan Patan uh, must be given the credit because he got the ball to come back. But Morton, they are stuck. And the umpire thought that it would have gone on to hit the stumps. Stuck in his crease and Irfan Patan has got the first wicket for his team. Morton gone for one, it's one for one. Early wickets again here in Dambulla. 
This time it's Erfan Patan. 2.4 overs into the match. It's one for one. Sylvester Joseph coming to the crease. The man that was out, Renaco Morton. Jardins goes over the, the hand, the outstretched hand of the gully, and Harbhajan Singh makes a meal of it down at third man. A four to the West Indians. Seven for one after four overs. Xavier Marshall's pads they're targeting but the leg stump of Sylvester Joseph that couldn't have been too far away Van Patan has bowled uh, the right line looking to get that ball back in and very very close to that leg stump Sylvester Joseph who has this big shuffle missing the ball and uh, how lucky was that Oh, that one's lofted over the top of point one bounce to Harbhajan, who this time fields it, having made a meal of the last ball of last over. That's another problem with most of these young West Indies batsmen. Whenever they're trying to hit the ball hard through the offside, they slash at the ball. Had the line been covered, they could have easily lifted it over mid-off or cover and would have got himself four. High back lift and uh, back coming at an angle. This time, Harbhajan uh, does feel well. This time, he's dropped and run. Might get two here. Patan's the man coming in. No, he sends them back. Well done. Good intent by the batsman and great defence by Patan. India looking to attack the opposition, not only with the ball, but also in the field. Man of the series award, Maruti Suzuki, Swift. Oh, well played this time. Stand and deliver. Let the ball come to you. And it disappears for four. That's a typical West Indian shot. Beautifully played away through the onside. Good balance. Didn't fall over on this occasion. And most importantly, met the ball at the middle of the bat. Zayed Khan over pitching and bowling on the pads of the batsman here. Xavier Marshall had plenty of time and in the end quality to dispatch it away through mid-wicket. 16 runs and 36 balls to start this innings. Xavier Marshall trying to find a way to get through this new ball. He's standing out of his crease against Zahir Khan. And he's uh, out of his crease against Irfan Patan also. They're really worried about pace, aren't they? Try to do that uh, against Sri Lanka when uh, Kumar Sangakara, the keeper, came up. And uh, so the batsman really had to go back in the crease, and that really hampered his uh, movement against the new ball. I think the idea is really uh, to kill that big in-swing that he thinks that uh, can trouble him. There is a theory going around cricket circles that if you want to start outside your crease, especially as far as that, you have to take your helmet off. You know, with all this protective gear, they are just advancing at the fast men. And on really good batting conditions, the fast men have got no answer. They have all the pressures on them. So, you know, I think the batsmen have, it's all in the favour of them. And uh, maybe that's not a bad idea. They come charging at you with an elbow guard, chest guard, thigh pad, inside thigh, two pads and a helmet. And uh, the defenceless bowler has his field up with no answers. It's not uh, only about charging. It's also about uh, taking the leg before decision away from the bowler. If you're standing out of your crease, it's very hard for the umpire to give you a leg before. I think it'll be a good move, although it's a, it's a hard move. I, I see uh, Dhoni 
coming up to the stumps now a little bit. He's really thinking about it. He's hovering behind Xavier Marshall. But uh, it would be a, a big ask for a, a new man into this level of the game to do that. But I think it's, it's well worth the effort to get Xavier Marshall back on the stumps while this ball is new. That's a great shot. That is a super shot. The third one of those he's played. Four, three, and a four. The other advantage that he's extracting by standing out of his crease is that he can now make those good link deliveries into half volleys. That one was uh, brilliantly played away through the onside. It always is uh, a delightful shot. Any shot coming uh, of the middle of the stick off the bat. Nicely timed high back lift. Looked good. Well, this time he flips it off his hip. Two bounces down to fine leg. Just a single. 20 for one. 21 for one. There's an overview of uh, the impressive Dambula Stadium here with the lake uh, very nearby. Nice looking shot. Just gets him the single. And they'll come for the second. They'll have to hurry here. And he's gone. That was nonsense. That was absolute futility. That's a wicket lost. For one run, a wicket has been lost. No question of that. There was only one. There ever was only going to be one. And what they've finished up with is one run out, way out of his ground, never going to get there. And to compound the West Indies problems, the throw was good. The keeper didn't have far to get back to the stumps after taking the ball. And really, I'm not even sure why it had to go to the uh, video umpire. So, uh, Joseph is gone and just to really make uh, matters bad for the West Indies one short was called so they don't even get the one run before the wicket fell it was a nice shot everything was good up to Len and the Xavier Marshall was uh, good four or five inches short you can see the umpire was getting ready to call one short and then realized that he suddenly had to call for the video replay Perhaps that's why he called for the video replay. He was concentrating on the uh, the one short aspect of the run and then suddenly realised he had to make a decision. It's 23 for two. Your batsman is uh, narsing the owner right now. This is a change from the advertised order. The left-hander has come in instead of his captain. Also left-hander, of course, should Naran Chandapal. Weston is in trouble, 22 for two. That's a bad piece of work. Gone all the way through. It looks as if it'll reach the boundary. The outfield is quite fast, and it does. Rather non-fielder ball stroke right through him. A good-looking shot by Marshall, but it really shouldn't have got him a run. Instead, it gets him four. Well, two of the boundaries already hit by the West Indies have come as a result of missed fields. On this occasion, the offender was Rao. Earlier on, it was Habajan Singh. Fine shot. Well, that's, I suppose, why they're saying that Marshall has this sort of potential. When you play a shot like that off the back foot, he's played some off the front foot through mid-wicket. He's off-driven. Ah! Oh, he got his pad uh, well across outside the line of the off stump, but he was offering, was he offering a shot? Maybe that was the question. Yeah, 
probably just outside the line. It's a decent strike. And put some doubt in the umpire's mind as to whether he was struck in line or just outside. The umpire gave Narsim Dianarain the benefit of the doubt. If we have a look at it again, it's definitely going to hit the stumps. As well, that now seeing the Narayan put some doubt in the umpire's mind that he was struck outside the line playing a shot. Another big shot from Irfan Patan. This time it might just be the other way around. Maybe too much leg stump. Yeah, probably would have missed leg. Nasing Dianarain is uh, just having a little bit of a problem. Might have hit leg stump. Turn already. Could be encouraged by that one. It was a quick off spinner and it spun. That tells you something about the pitch. You can see it wasn't slow in the air. It looks slow in the slow motion. In fact, I think it, it hit a rough patch on the ground there. It may have just uh, taken a bit of the soil out with it. It certainly did disturb the top surface of the pitch just there yeah! gone comfortable catch at first slip you were worried weren't you Ian when you saw Xavier Marshall facing up to Harbhajan Singh well, that's the danger ball for a young man coming in and facing Harbhajan Singh I mentioned it earlier just look for the one that goes straight on didn't spin, just went straight on, and it's a good, comfortable catch. When he has those two deliveries in his armory, the big off spin and the arm ball working, he is a danger. Top of the program, we mentioned it to the young batsman in the West Indies team. He's going to be different, Habashan Singh. 32 for three. Easily the best batsman of spin in the West Indies team, Shivnarai Chandapal. The last test series, uh, he looked uh, so comfortable against Muthaya Murli Daran. And you'd expect him to play Harbhajan Singh also reasonably well. Yeah. Running is urgent. And that's why they get the second. We've already seen one calamity with the run out of Sylvester Joseph. And we said we saw that run out. With Sylvester Joseph and just a little bit of a collision, I think, between the batsman and uh, the bowler. That's knocking that left hand. Oh! Beaten the batsman and the keeper too. So again, a batsman playing for the spin. Signaled as buys by Daryl Harper went between bat and pad so a straighter ball not being picked first of all by Xavier Marshall and now by Nasing Diener I had enough to contend with with Merle Litteran in the test series this is brilliant bowling 
too sure about the keeping. Keeping isn't special there. End of a good over. It's 39 for 3. I'm really surprised we haven't got uh, more people. It's a Sunday here. We had far uh, more people watching the game yesterday at this time. So not doing great business, these people. And Harbhajan Singh has been bowling superbly in this tournament. Bowled well yesterday. Today as well has been a good spell. Have a look at the loop, the flight. The rhythm is extremely good. You can see the ball, beautiful loop to it. Oh, he's a tall man, Harbhajan Singh, by Indian standards. So he can get the ball to bounce. He's got a high arm action. And bowling those three variations with great control today. He's given it everything. He's waited long enough. Almost uh, killing his captain. I'm not sure that he got quite to the pitch of it, Narsing Dianarain, but he decided enough was enough. Habajan is building too much pressure. And we saw him bat in a very aggressive mode in the test matches. He got close enough to it. And that's a good way of loosening the shackles. Yeah, good shot. Another teasing off spinner. This is what it does if you hit a strong shot towards mid off. The fielder at mid off, which is Zahir Khan here, is on the heels of the next ball. Down the wicket this time, he scoops it into the gap just well enough. Harbhajan set that trap for him a little bit. There's three men looking for something mistimed on the leg side. He gets away with it, Chanderpaul. Both players uh, like to use their feet to the spinners. Now, last night, the Sri Lankans ate up quite a few deliveries at this period. And the West Indies are doing it as well. Chandipal, two from 16. Deona Ryan, eight from 34. Naira doing a job from the grandstand end. Well, there's a misfield. There was a bobbling bounce. Probably not that bad, and they found two. Yes, they've given the West Indies a few runs in the field. There were a couple of boundaries early on that came via misfields. Yuvraj on that occasion, generally very good, a, a specialist point, backward point fielder. Sends him back, Ashish Nara, 3.2 overs, none for four. He's been fantastic, and he, as he was in the backup to Patan in yesterday's game. He's consistency this is the last over all he's doing is varying his length just seeing what the batsman and the left-handed batsman want to do with different lengths on and outside that off stump so very good variety in the space of one over tight on off stump and then a little wider one looking for the outside edge and the two slips that India have got in place Rahul Dravid showing that he's a captain who's prepared to attack and he just he didn't just do it for a short time in the game uh, last night with Sri Lanka he attacked all the way through realizing that the only way they were going to win the game was to bowl the opposition out it's all right to understand that as a captain but uh, sometimes you've 
you've got to be a bit courageous and carry on with it and Rahul Dravid did that almost an outside edge finds the gap will run for two so even though he, they're looking for three but Harbhajan does well out there Chanderpaul's stroke play looks pretty crisp. It's found the middle of the bat, even though he's taken his time. Six runs now from 20 balls. Everything looks in place. <laughs> 21 overs gone for 49 runs. India well and truly on top here. Habajan in his fifth over. Still got a slip in place for him. They've got a short leg in place. Two catching men, a tight offside field, no one protecting the boundary, and just two men out on the leg side. So th there's a as big an indication as you can get that India are confident. Well, I think India are also smart because um, there's no reason to just push fields and back because unless the batsmen are making you push them back. Put the onus on the batsman and say, all right, you, you've got to hit over the top. Unless you're good enough to hit through. And I think there's a tendency uh, as the 50 comes up for the West Indies, I think there's a tendency if you do get tied down, a lot of batsmen say, oh, well, I've got to go over the top rather than hit it through the gap. it into the space that's been given that's not bad so Chandrabal's coming into a, a runner ball type stuff from his stance Chandrabal it's where he couldn't move anywhere but he's quite quick on his feet oh it's edged and dropped second slip He's been put in there just for that. He's been in there the whole match. There's no reason why he wouldn't have been ready for it. A massive drop by Verinda Sawak. Well, I was talking to the Indian coach uh, before the game, and he said that uh, Verinda sawag has been having a bit of a problem with catches in, in matches. He's been catching very well in practice, but uh, Greg said he's dropped four out of four so far in matches, so he can make that five out of five now. And mainly his problem is footwork he doesn't move his feet at all we saw that last night when he was at first slip to Harbajan. it might sound strange to talk about footwork with a slip fielder because you, you everybody thinks ah oh, catching with your hands but wicket keepers it's terribly important footwork there but it's just as important when you're in the slips and he's just not balanced at all you can see how he's he's falling as he's trying to take the catch and if you're doing that, there's a, you haven't got much chance of, uh, of taking the catch. He really should have been uh, standing to take that catch rather than falling as he was trying to take it. Not balanced at all in attempting to take that. Didn't even come close to catching it. I wonder if it's got, he's never been a great mover in the slips or in the field. They've hidden him at times and now he's found him what, his way into the slips. I wonder if it's to do with his back. He, he's never had a, a great back. Uh, I wonder, that, that can take the edge off all of your movements and uh, it seems that there, there is a bit of a stiffness there and uh, it's probably coupled with <laughs> a bit of tension now that his coach is reminding him he's dropped four from four. He finds the gap that time. It won't go all the way. Just a little inside edge-ish. It's going to be kept to two by Rao. The 23rd over is finished. 54 for three. Round the wicket. the West Indies really should be looking at this as an opportunity to uh, certainly pick up six runs and over from Savag at least. Here he 
goes. I wonder if he does the little end or the, the big end. Of course, bales, for those who don't know, we've got a shorter end and a longer end to sit on top of the stumps in tandem with the other one. I wonder if he's ever been told by an umpire to bring your own out. Don't put uh, any dirt or mud or turf on, our, on ours and uh, have them sit on top of the stumps unevenly. I'm sure he probably has. Must only be a superstition thing, surely, because it's not a very easy way to mark your crease. Against the missed time, but it's a single. There's a man out there at sweeper for the bowling of Saywag. It's it's not a very good thing to look down on either, I don't think. A, a little circular hole rather than a you know something you can line your feet up with. He seems to go all right with it. Where would he line his feet up? I tell you where I wouldn't like to be doing it is Perth. I'm not sure how the hell you would ever knock it into the pitch in Perth. Unless Perth is not as hard as it used to be. It's a good shot. There could be two there. There's always space behind the bowler and they make it easy. big one and it's gone with the wind as well the first six of the match see a change bowler and the batsman just get that extra confidence it's not about the ball so much as it's about the bowler Sehwag was clobbered for a six in his very first over yesterday as well that will be a mix misnomer as far as the West Indies are concerned here no swiftness about their batting. They're 74 for three, but that is the Maruti Suzuki Swift, which goes to the man of the series. Nice looking shot nice for Chandapur. And uh, they'll think of a second they should come for it, yes. Pathan has a good strong arm, but always two. That uh, will be presented to the man of the series after the final at the Primadasa Stadium in Colombo on August the 9th. This is the second match of the six qualifying round matches and then on to the final. Seems to have a pretty good bowling action. Suresh Rana is a change off spinner. The same can be said about Sehwag, another part time off spinner at the other end. Both have got pretty good relaxed actions. Yeah, I don't think there's any, there, there will be any judging as to whether these uh, bowlers have a degree of bend in their elbow which exceeds 15 degrees classical off spinners action Dropping short of mid on we're disappointed that he didn't do better with that was short enough not a huge bank account when it comes to wickets for Rena, just one first class wicket in his career. Oh. Nice sweep shot by Chandapal. Oh. Now, will they come for the second? It's a long way out there, but it's a very good return. Got it back in very, very quickly. Rena, the fielder, and he has impressed in the field in the two matches so far. Big six hitter, pow pow ho. Oh, no! like before, so Reyna has got his first international wicket. Misjudgment, attempt at a sweep shot, no turn on the delivery, it didn't look, and the partnership broken at an essential stage. Where was the ball hitting? Was it hitting him just outside the line of the off stump, or where, well, whether it was in line? Uh, that angle is seen pretty close. But not a good shot. Shiv Narayan Chandapal gone for 22. West Indies 84 for 4. So here comes uh, Ricardo Powell with the dismissal of Shiv Narayan Chandapal, who really, the West Indies captain, you've got a question. 
his uh, position in the order, his tactics. turned in and the classic off spinners dismissal and isn't Sewag happy. Part time bowler. No need for Harbhajan Singh. Sewag's off spinners are good enough. Looking to hit through the covers. There wasn't big spin on the ball. I think it's a poor shot. There's too much of a gap between bat and pad. Sewag loves it. So wickets falling at regular intervals here. Ricardo Powell gone for one. West Indies now 85 for five. Dwayne Smith is the new batsman, another big hitter. And a straight drive for four. Now that's the way to get off the mark. Authoritative drive by Dwayne Smith. Gets him going. Just a bit too smart a field that Sehwag has employed here. He's got a mid-on that's in the circle because he wanted that long gone much squarer. So an easy... That's a typical Dwayne Smith hit. Now when you're going to hit it, hit it. And that's what he does. Dwayne Smith with a tremendous debut 100 in South Africa in his first test early last year played these types of shots and over long on for six the question for the West Indies is can he continue it now here's a pull shot that's gone that's gone a, a long long way Dwayne Smith he's come in and immediately just ch change the momentum in a flash. His second six, he's only faced three deliveries. Or is it four? That's a four delivery for him. Pushed quicker, just a bit too short. And he picked it very early. And it's gone with the wind. There's a crosswind from left to right on the screen. They've got a wicket each. The weak link, if we can call it, Suresh Rena, Virendra Sehwag in operation. They've got a wicket each, but uh, they've conceded also 46 runs in their uh, 7.2 overs. Balaji on the field for Ashish Nehra. Now what the owner has to do here is what he's been doing so far. Just playing carefully, playing within his limitations. You've got Smith in there now, Paul disappointed. He's seen his captain go. Still overs in hand for the West Indies. He's not looking to turn his off spinners. The idea is uh, to get the ball with the angle to come back into the left hander. Cut away for four. More runs leaking here from the bit bowlers. An expensive over here from Reina. Rejoicing at the dismissal of Chandapal. Maybe second thoughts now. Yeah. Nice looking shot. And he'll come back for a second. Just a little dab. Zahir Khan just uh, laboring after it. I think that's the right word, uh, Tony. Zahir Khan labouring after that one. He's just lost the sprint, Zahir Khan. But sensible shot. Prefer to stay on the back foot. It's not such a bad idea against Harbhajan Singh. Oh, Dusara. They really don't have much of a clue against that delivery. Second ball from Harbhajan. He took three balls to get rid of uh, Xavier Marshall. Now only two are needed for Dwayne Smith. Not a clue. 
to the ball, going away from him. It's a good idea to stay on the back foot against Harbhajan Singh, but not when the ball is so full. It's a pretty full and it's the top spinner. You can see the healthy outside edge. So you've got to say that's a good catch by Dhoni. You have that amount of deflection. There isn't much of uh, distance between the outside edge and the glove, not too much of time. So Dwayne Smith threatened for a while, but only for a short while. West Indies 109 for six. What's in the Tilda bag this summer? To find out more, look for the Tilda promotional bags in stores. The finds for the West Indies of the Test Series. Keeping was outstanding. Showed that uh, he also is a quite capable batsman. But his team is in real trouble here. 109 for six. Certainly a long-term prospect for West Indies, Dinesh Ramadan. As you said, a good wicket keeper. And I expect him to play Harbhajan Singh well. He watches the ball, he has a feel for batting. Dropping just short, I would think. Top edge, diving forward, Yuvraj. On his heels, perhaps. But I think it didn't quite carry. He's a good fielder, Yuvraj Singh. And uh, too full, I think, to play that sweep shot. Uh, not uh, really caring to Yuvraj Singh. It's just going to clear backward square leg. Yuvraj Singh in that position. Goes for the relay throw. He's talking of that uh, Murli's Dusra. It's in recent times that we've seen him shift more towards middle and leg stump. He certainly does spin it much more than uh, what Harbhajan does. And uh, perhaps to try and make sure that the batsman plays him, he's uh, gone a little bit more towards leg stump. But then, as you did quite rightly say, the batsman is aware that when it's pitched leg stump, that's uh, going to be not going to be the off spinner. for six. A couple of leg buys. They'll take them all. Took a while, but eventually Verinda Sawag has got the decision. So Deanna Ryan, who has been there for 90 deliveries, has succumbed on the 91st. This didn't bounce very much. He gives it uh, plenty of air there. And well, that hit him around leg stump, and uh, well, I would say he'd uh, consider himself a little bit unlucky there. Darrell Harper took a long while to uh, make up his mind, finally uh, came him out. So Dina Rain goes LBW to Shevard for 41. And uh, West Indies now for 140 for 7. Nice shot, my best. He's got, uh, well, no, in fact, it's been a, <laughs> in the end, it's got away from him. Really good effort down there by Reina, who has been the outstanding fielder for India. Contrast to what uh, Ian Bishop had just uh, said about the rest of the Indian fielding, which hasn't been sharp today, he has been. And he almost saved this one. It's a good shot by best, deliberate. Best 
down the wicket will just get the one coming back for the second Nero one of the weakest of the Indian fielders can not prevent the second run well the numbers ticked over in best head and he reckoned it's the time to go after this one that's the problem with him Tino best Man of the series car last night, Sanath just Jayasuriya won the man of the match award. There's some doubt as to whether he will be able to participate in the rest of the tournament because of the shoulder which he injured last night. Yeah. Ready, um, best, uh, very busy out there. And Ramdin has played as he did in the test matches with uh, calm assurance. Very good shot, very good shot, over the top of short extra cover, deliberately lifted over the top of the fielder, gets a boundary for it, and uh, support for Ramdin and the West Indies. 159 for seven, six overs remain. There's that shot which we saw in the test match, and it'll go for four, just short and best pivoting on the back foot. It's a very stylish shot. And, uh, and he has an uncle who opened the batting for the West Indies in Carlisle Best. Gordon Greenwich also comes from his home country of Barbados. And uh, they have been certainly influenced his stroke play. Tremendous shot by Tino Best. Wow. This is real entertaining. He's already developed a a certain fan club here in Sri Lanka during the test series he is a character and another boundary for him 169 for 7 off 45 and Nero and bowled him that's a bad shot a really bad shot a swipe ready overs to go and Ramdin has spoiled what was a very responsible innings with an irresponsible shot Thing is when do you step on the gas it's a slow delivery from there is a good change of pace he's through his shot too early and these sorts of variations are exactly what you need towards the end of the innings he knows exactly what he was doing and uh, 24 to ramden 172 for eight new batsman is darren paul who never really looked like a batsman during the test series he was confused by the spin let's see how he goes against the pace here he's uh, better than his record suggests as a batsman he's digging in as well and here's how ramdin went real slog beaten by the slow ball leg stump no helmet on for darren powell First ball, Darren Powell goes first ball, Nero's on a hat trick, limp shot from Powell. West Indies have uh, declined to 172 for nine, and Tino Best is in danger here of running out of partners. Well, you go back to the Rambin Hoik and you ask yourself, did he have to press the accelerator so soon and take a risk? Powell's form with the bat on this toy, he can bat I assure you a little bit, but he hasn't shown it at all on this tour. Gone first ball. 172 for nine. Jermaine Lawson comes out now. And as he came out, Tino Best went up to him. And really no prizes for guessing what Best would have told him. I am here. I want to face again in this innings. But there are four over four balls remaining. The hat trick delivery for Ashish Nera to Jermaine Lawson. And he gets a single down to third man. Anticlimax. And Best gets his wish. This is uh, the first man out in it. They were still Dinesh Ramdin. First ball of the over. Trying to whip it to mid-wicket. 
And then Darren Powell hasn't scored at all on this tour. He's looked dreadfully out of his depth with the bat, even in the test matches. Going to be interesting now with Tino Best and only the last man with him. Three balls left in the over. He's got 21, but still three overs left in the innings. And he's dropped him. Dhoni got the gloves to it. Should have held on. He's got gloves. Goodness gracious, he should have held that. Telegraphed that shot by Best. No reason to smile, Dhoni. You should be ashamed. Just hit the fingers, didn't get the elevation, didn't time his uh, jump as well as he would have liked. Now, can Best keep his wits about him for the last three deliveries? Big hit by Best, but it's going to be out, caught at long on. He cannot keep his wits about him. Tino Best logs his hand away. Unnecessary, absolutely unnecessary for Tino Best. Reina settled under it, took the catch, and Best gives his hand away and leaves Lawson unbeaten with three, and Best out for 24, and the West Indies all out for 178. Well, it's silly cricket. It really is silly cricket. You go way back in the innings, Ramdin and Best at the crease. They should have been take, looking to take the innings down to the last couple of overs. It wasn't to be. And the West Indies fall well short of uh, any significant total. Big appeal. Too high though. White balls bouncing. But a good first over by Powell. Good start here for the West Indies. India have a wide on the board in the first over. And here is Jermaine Lawson. And off the mark right away. Just push through towards uh, mid-wicket. So couple then to Varinda Sewag. Jermaine Lawson with just a 12 one day internationals. Very crucial figures for him in a match against India in India when the West Indies were last there. Good catch down the leg side, beautifully taken. So down the leg side, Verinda Sagwag goes cheaply, and once more, Dinesh Ramdin with that footwork and glove work of his proves what a find he has been for the West Indies behind the stumps. That was a brilliant catch from uh, Ramdin. He really uh, impressed me in the test series. And when you can take a catch like this to get rid of a man so important, as Verinda Sawag, you're certainly a big uh, help to your team. So India, three for the loss of Verinda Sawag. Lawson now with the wicket in this first over and a big appeal now. Well, right arm over the wicket Rainers come in and first delivery bang into the pad well, you can imagine how uh, his heart would have been in his mouth because he got a first ball duck against uh, Sri Lanka last night or in yesterday's game that on that occasion just the angle saved him that ball would have um, if it pitched in line it missed off stump exactly again like that uh, angle but it was well worth the shout but Rayner getting a good opportunity here in the number three spot a little shuffling of the order here for India with uh, Mohammed Kaif opening the batting and uh, Rayner the left-hander left-handed batsman throws bowls right-handed had more success right under the left so far. And dropped straight into Ricardo Powell's hands and out.
straightforward catch. Hit hard, but directly to Ricardo Paul. What a start would that have been for the West Indies? Well, I reckon uh, players are going to miss some catches at around about this height because of the lights. The lights really are badly placed uh, for fielders. And probably the worst position is the gully backward point area because they're, they're the ones that are coming at that awkward height. And you've just got to lift your eyes a little bit and you're looking straight into the lights. My goodness, what a frenetic start this has been for India. We've had a brilliant leg side catch, we've had a drop catch, and now we have an inside edge that flashes past the stumps for four. What next? Eight for one. Very nearly back into his stumps again. What's going on out there? Well, if Suresh uh, Rayner gets away and makes a decent score here, he'll think about the good fortune he's had at the start of this innings. Shot again. This time, it'll be more space for the fielder to come around. And they'll get two. Nice shot, really well timed, and that's four on the legs and beautifully played by Keith. Classic example of uh, how a batsman can use the bowler's pace to his advantage. As soon as the pace is just a little wayward, doesn't need to be much. When it's up around the 90 mile an hour mark, the batsman just has to make sure that he hits it into a gap. And it's away to the boundary easily. A lot to like about this young man, Mohammed Kaif. Beauty. Right through him. Yeah, this is encouraging for the West Indies when you've got Best and Powell improving, noticeably improving in the test series. Jermaine Lawson hopefully will have things cleared as far as uh, his action is concerned. And back in the Caribbean. There's Fidel Edwards, who is definitely sharp. That's what happens with pace. You get batsmen playing at deliveries that they don't really want to. But because you've got so little time to make that decision, if you do just make a slight mental error, you haven't got time to change your mind at 90 miles an hour. In the air, but well played, flicked it away. On the legs, uh, I think they should have had a clue already from uh, this left-hander that he is strong off the legs. That's where he scored his run so far. He's picked them off. We've got a couple of twos off Jermaine Lawson. Yeah, most left-handers, uh, well, I guess most international batsmen, you would say, don't mind it when it's uh, delivered on the pads. A lot of wood in those two bats out there at the moment. Again, and that'll go for another four. Perhaps Darren Paul likes the shot. Well, we'll find out if he does it again, then we'll know definitely that Darren Powell likes the shot. That's good wristy play from Suresh Rayner. That's for signal for wides. One bouncer per over allowed in one day cricket. Making full use of that are the West Indians. Striving for too much pace possibly. And they know the situation's getting more desperate as time wears on and they don't take wickets. Let's have a look where Kaif has scored, scored his runs. It's one little dab single. 
and two bad balls down the leg side that he's been able to work away for four but nothing on the offside other than one dab single okay he wanted some on the offside here it is yes well that's that's good wasn't it no he's now got a red line on the offside as well but it was too short too wide if you want to bowl that short get it around the armpit of the batsman don't give him so much room to play a great shot and that's exactly what it was it was a great shot forcing shot of the backward didn't worry about the ball being in the air and in front on the offside it wasn't using the pace of the ball another beautiful shot on the leg side he's played one before this one finer this time he was using the pace of the bowler and the bowler was helping him out allowing him to use that pace by just angling down the leg side it was a really really well played shot but it was pretty average bowling and they've done that too much in my mind in the quest for for pace just need to pull it back a little bit get their rhythm back and get it on the spot more often and also it seems like um, when the batsmen were hopping around when they were uncertain when they were not counter-attacking they seem to be holding the line pretty well they had some control the moment uh, a few boundaries have been hit they have been slightly all right with their line and put that down to an experience maybe not the greatest temperament but this as we said earlier is going to be the test as the batsmen have started playing some shots started to see the ball better oh uh. now don't leave there do not leave there surely these guys can work that out and they have the ability to go somewhere five times out of six near where this ball pitches they are all talented athletic bowlers and they've done it before at every other level I'm sure that's why they're here there's no difference they should forget their opposition and just put the ball there that's their job and worry about what happens after that but it's hard to play and Kaif is not coping that well with that nine overs completed it's 49 for one The front ones are really on seven the current rate 5.44 some good shots played some hit and miss some close calls for the Indians in this chase Jermaine Lawson in his fifth over He's played that one on the offside going quickly to third man and he's missed it and it's Darren Powell on his knees getting up Brings up the 50 for India. Really good stroke play. And beware the second bounce. The second bounce of these deliveries is the one where the ball grips the turf and goes the other way. That's basic stuff too. Second bounce, always more activity. After a tough over, has to face this first ball of the next over. Mohamed Kaif as always very alert Suresh Ren I think was uh, just thinking about the ball did it keep it a little, little low but Mohamed Kaif knew there was an opportunity to pick up a single good cricket yeah the call by Kaif got Rainer's head up it did keep low and he was starting to think about it oh did all his best up oh, up there comes the head response to the call makes it easy batting in partnerships some pace and bounds line also very good on that occasion speed of 145 kilometers per hour well Rainer just dabbed a single out down on the offside let's have a look at his distribution of run scoring in his wagon wheel I'm pretty sure it'll be highly on the leg side as well it's just that that four that was misfilled fielded by Powell just recently just down the offside 
but everything else, three fours on the leg and a couple of singles as well. Uh, was he avoiding the ball or was it deliberate padding? Even Kef, I think, wasn't sure. The umpire doesn't need to make that decision now. <laughs> what it did is hurt. Have a look, we'll have a look exactly where it hit him. He hasn't got a chest guard on to protect low of the, below the rib cage. He's got the thigh pad. I think it's just just hit the love handle, just above, just above the thigh pad on the hip. Again, shot, and this is a very good shot. Suresh Rana showing some talent out here. Teno is gone. 61 for one. It's gone quickly down to third man. Will he get there? No. That's another boundary. Some width to play with for Mohamed Kev. Not right out of the middle of the bat. But again, using the pace that Smith's allowed him. Go on, go on. Yes, the catching in the Test Series was remarkable for West Indies. And it's good to see that it continues in one-day cricket as well. Sylvester Joseph has taken a splendid catch. From a splendid ball. He's kept his pace up there but found some control. The last two balls have been good. Just the one way would won. This time perfectly. On the up, Kaif's looking to push into the covers. Sylvester Joseph moves well to his left and covers the gap that was there between he and Ramden really easily. Best in the wickets again. 68 for two. In comes the Indian captain, well equipped to handle the situation. Tino Best has been in good form for West Indies. Fully bold. Now Ramdin puts it down. What will the umpire say here? Well, it's a drop catch, and that's the first one we've seen from Ramdin. Came around, thought he wasn't going to carry to first slip. Best shakes his head. That ball was bowled at around 90 miles an hour and clearly surprised the batsman and would have been a good take. It was low down. He had to move to cover the line of that edge. Gone away, beats the diving pole and goes for four. Best shouldn't be worried about that. Got the batsman coming forward to him. 76 for two, a real contest on. Smith has now hit this, uh, has pitched it up on the legs to Reyna, who is very strong in that area. And two fours off successive balls, so a little bit of pressure now, ease. Reyna dropped by Ramden behind the stumps. Dravid would have been run out had Smith's return hit the stumps. And now Dravid with the four and Reyna with one as well. Doesn't seem to get affected by those drop chances, Reyna. When the ball is in the slot, he's going to play his shot. And another beautifully played drive. This could go all the way too. But Powell is fast. He isn't... Uh, Named Paul for nothing. His namesake holds the world record for the 100 meters. And his countryman. So just a couple. Dwayne Smith, the weak link in this bowling lineup, and uh, the Indian batsmen are clever enough to know that uh, he's got to go for runs. Well bowled. He held it back a little bit, Smith. So a boundary and a two off him. Started pretty well, just seven runs off his first two overs. Reyna, who's uh, had a, a good start to his international career in the field, especially, but out for a duck last night, first ball. Should have gone tonight for another duck. Here he is, 35, dropped twice. 
That won't be in the scorebook. West Indies uh, desperately looking for another wicket. If uh, they can pick up a couple, surely be back in this game. They've been offered chances, not accepted by the West Indian fielders. Shiv Narayan Chandapal has got Lon in his plate. He's been uh, reactive rather than being uh, proactive. Caught at cover. So you're talking about wickets. Reyna finally finds a fielder who can catch him. And uh, Dwayne Smith picks up the wicket with Zavir Marshall holding in the catch at cover. An easy one. 82 for three. Match on. Well, he'll be uh, pretty disappointed with this effort. Reyna dropped twice. There was uh, runs for him for the taking in the end. A soft dismissal. Dwayne Smith uh, pretty delighted with this wicket. Disappointing end to uh, Rena's knock. Gone for 35, 82 for three. Sony v is the perfect partnership if you want great entertainment 24-7. Coming up on Sony, we've got a sizzling line of summer treats. Bollywood fans, stay tuned for the world television premiere of the box office hit Hum Thum. Sports fans, cricket fever is back to back. Watch the triangular series featuring India, Sri Lanka, West India. Cut shot and cut hard, my goodness. That has gone like a shot from a gun. That is a tremendous shot by Dravid. Just didn't seem to have the room. He seemed to play it late. Four runs. Using the pace of Tino Best and how well he played that one. In the game against Sri Lanka, he guided the ball in this direction. But this one was hit hard, extremely hard. A little bit of width and uh, got on top of it very nicely. In the air, the third man, and we'll go for four more. Deliberate shot, best, too short and too wide. And he's dealing with one of the best and most experienced batsmen in world cricket here. Probably over trying, Tino Best. Another quick delivery, but he lost it completely. The moment he banged it short, it was not only short, but wide outside the off stump. And uh, Raul Dravid read it early. And the intention was always to uh, play that shot that slice over the slip cotton Tino Best had no hope in the end and that could go for four more long chase here for the fielder from extra cover he won't make it three successive fours off Best Chandapal after it. So three successive fours for Dravid. And just in the course of three deliveries, how in the twinkling of an eye, things change. Masterful batting from Rahul Dravid. Every time the opportunity has come his way, he's gone uh, and pounced on it. Comfortable in the end, the single, although there was a bit of noise around there, there was a slight hesitation. Here is uh, the uh, self improvement that he craves for or works on. Rahul Dravid is something that continuously amazes me. In spite of great success, you'll sti still see him studiously working at his cricket. It's almost like he's got four ducks in the last four innings. Even if he's got two hundreds and two double centuries, that's the kind of application that he has every time he's out there playing an international innings.
maybe Darren Powell should have a chat to him about batting then because he has got four ducks in a row. <laughs> Darren Powell. Playing in this tournament, uh, there's not going to be too much of a relief for Darren Powell when he comes out to bat. There's some good spinners in the Indian team. He wants to, Yuvraj Singh, and we'll get it. I think uh, this is a better batting position for Yuvraj Singh. Batted at number three in the first game against Sri Lanka, but I think five's a better spot for him. Twenty overs completed, 106 for three. I was hoping to see Laurie, uh, Omari Bangs play for West Indies. I thought he uh, was bowling pretty well on the Sri Lankan pitches. Every time he bowled, he got the ball to spin and bounce. And on this pitch, the spinners are bowling quite well. They're finding the pitch to their liking. That been a good inclusion, Omari Banks. He's played some of his greater one-day innings at uh, number five, six for India, Yuvraj Singh. But India have uh, tried him in various positions. But he's opened in test matches for India, which failed. Two innings as an opener, an average of nine. Four innings at number three. He's got a score of. Well, that's his talent. Plays some uh, great shots, Yuvraj Singh. He's blessed with power, but this is also skill now. Just have a look at this shot. Wonderful wrist work on this occasion from Yuvraj Singh. Magnificent. A great shot. And then uh, batting at number four, it gets better. An average of 19, but really his best performances has been most effective at number five, 112 for three. very natural bat swing that he has and nobody has tampered with it which is uh, I think tribute to the coaches that have been involved in his grooming. Yuvraj Singh comes from uh, Punjab and uh, another cricket state that's gone stronger over the years. Big back lift to start with. Good free movement of the bat, very natural movement. Yeah, I like um, just looking at Yuvraj there. I like the bat swing. He's got a he's got a nice cock of the wrist, and obviously that's where bat speed comes from. But it's very relaxed, which tells you that his arms are pretty relaxed, and that's always an important thing in batting. You find particularly early in your innings when you're a bit nervous, if your arms get tense, that's when you start jabbing at balls outside off stump. But he looks very relaxed. I guess he should be now. He's been there 32 balls. And to me, really, when I look at Yuvraj Singh at this stage of his career, the kind of talent he has, he's got a pretty good temperament as well, able to handle pressure. He should have achieved more than he has. I think one day achievements are pretty good. He's played some remarkable, memorable match winning innings, but test matches hasn't been able to establish himself. He's got a wonderful 100 in test match cricket at Lahore on a seeming pitch but at this stage of his career I would like to see Yuvraj Singh as an important batsman in the Indian test match team as well as the one day team which he is because as you can see he's got class plays fast bowling pretty well
Well, I'd say two things about that, uh, Sanjay. I think one of the things that may have held him back is that lack of placement. You can't keep hitting good shots and hitting fielders all the time. The really good players hit the gaps more often than they hit the fielders. And the other thing is he's, he's always had Saurav Ganguly uh, in the position that he probably would uh, normally take in the test side and Ganguly being captain. Accumulating runs are the Indians, 123 for three. Nicely played on the leg side. Germain lost on the field. Darren Powell in his last over. Well, the West Indies um, really only got three frontline bowlers. Hopefully they've still got three with Jermaine Lawson once again hurting his shoulder, making a throw from the outfield. Really has got a jerky throwing action. That's for falling short of that slip fielder. Unlucky Darren Powell. A tentative shot outside the off stump. From Yevraj Singh. Just play on his mind a lot, that line. You can see he talks about it, thinks about it. The good thing that he did there was to get his bottom hand off the bat pretty quickly. That meant that the ball didn't carry far enough to reach the slip fielders. Got the placement with that shot. Around the wicket. He places that one okay. <laughs> The timing certainly there. Yes, Yuvraj has uh, not been able to pierce the field uh, at the start of his innings, but here, with absolute ease, he just um, timed it perfectly. High back lift and uh, didn't have to run, just found the gap. Top shot from Yuvraj. Oh, it's cleaned him up this time. Jermaine Lawson has taken the wicket of Yuvraj. Yuvraj continuing to play without moving his feet. He had no chance there. Just stood in one place and uh, good delivery right on off stump, went through the gate. No movement of the feet at all and uh, Yuvraj plays the penalty. He's fought out hard with his captain, made 28 runs, faced 58 deliveries, but he's gone now, bowled by Lawson. India lose their fourth wicket with the score on 143. Mahendra Dhoni into the batting lineup for India. In his 11th match, averaging 31 and a half. And this time he's dropped, does it? There could be a run out chance. Dhoni's working hard to get to the bowler's end and gets there. Let's try and piece all that together. Yes, action all of a sudden. And it uh, was a low catch. Lawson trying to get the Yorker in. Yes, uh, that was catchable. Spilt. And uh, another opportunity wasted. Down the ground. Drive it slow to move. And Dhoni makes it. Well, there's plenty happening with the new batsman in there. The LBW shout the ball before. Have a look at the wicket keeper. He's given it away for the bowler. He's right down there. But oh, then he comes back and tries to appeal with the rest of his teammates. But that's the giveaway for the umpire, that's for sure. You know quite a bit about that, Heels. You know, you've got to take a risk. Do I move my feet down the leg side in case it misses the pad? Or do I stay here in case it hits the pad and I can appeal and support my bowler? <laughs> Drive it on strike. Cut shot, lofted, and there's no one there. One, two bounces. Drive it at his best. This is the problem with uh, Tino Best. He comes up with a couple of good deliveries, but then he throws that rank bad ball. Well, this time it's worked fine. 
Argentina best strain just under the legs of Raul Dravid and pays the price. Just glanced the pad and uh, four more to the Indian total, which uh, creeps up towards the uh, victory target. Tino best again in discipline, going down leg side. Full this time again. The effect of pace. It really does have an influence. That one's gone away for four, but it was a, an intended cover drive from a batsman who's well set. And it goes for four past third man. Little shake of the head from Dravid once he finished. But he did turn his wrists just a little bit as he was making contact, and uh, that contributed the ball going off a thick outside edge down to the boundary. But it all helps India's course. They race up now to 158 for four. Getting closer to that target of 179. Ravid is on uh, 43, following up with his half century of yesterday. Greg Chappell following every move. They didn't get off to a good start yesterday, but uh, today things have fallen more into place. Certainly for the captain. I think he'd still like a bit more performance out of those top three and four driver is certainly in great touch he's calm he's composed he's coped well with the pace he's run well between wickets but i think around him they need a little bit more performance save our Kaif, Rayner, and yuvraj all haven't done the job that driver has done this evening in their quest for this small total so Greg would like to, I'm sure, bring in some great consistency around the legends that are in their team. Again, good pace and well run. Yes, we saw Virendra Shewak uh, standing behind uh, Greg Chappell. As you did mention, he is one of those players who's to, who has to come good in this tournament. Oh, full toss to no ball, possibly from the front foot. Daryl Harper at the bowler's end has called it. Umpire at the square leg. How high was it? Yeah, it was OK. OK. Tino Best would sigh a breath of relief. Even breathe a sigh of relief. Yes, it was certainly a foot no ball. That was the first call made very quickly by umpire Harper, but uh, that was the umpire Vijay Bodhan also just raising his hand by Harper did have a word with best well it's not the time to be attempting those 145 K Yorkers I don't think for Tino best just in case when another one slips out but, uh, that was okay it was under the waist high and he's happy This target's building pretty well, 164, and they've still got 15.2 overs to go. So in the, if they were making a score, it would be a beauty. And Dravid works that from outside leg to the man at deep backward square. You did mention the bowlers, uh, Hills, being in contention for that man of the series award, but uh, Rahul Dravid's uh, got himself off to a very good start. Two top innings from him. Yes, he has, and Senate Jay Surya won the award last night by playing an innings like this when the Sri Lankans were losing wickets in the middle order. Uh, without Jay Surya, it was deemed that he probably would, they wouldn't have won the match. 
he held the, the young fellas together. They played some breezy innings around him. And they got there pretty easy. This one's a breezy hook shot, and he doesn't get a hand on it. It bounces past Lawson and over the rope. Doney goes to nine. 169 for four. through a big chase from mid off at this stage it's not going to get there Dravid's 50 comes up another great knock by the Indian captain the second uh, consecutive uh, 50 got a 50 yesterday against Sri Lanka his uh, teammates applaud not many spectators to appreciate this innings it's been a great innings uh, from the Indian captain 63 deliveries he struck seven boundaries a good strike rate of 81 a fine effort from Rahul Dravid that's the impressive thing about it he's hardly we've hardly noticed him up there he plays some classy shots he finds the boundary when they need it and yet his strike rates 81 couldn't the West Indian top order learn from that just be there build the runs and your strike rate look after itself all behind the wicket a lot of it behind the wicket just two boundaries forward of square and very few in the air that's a, a normal signature of Roald Dravid just a lofted cut shot to third man and that's about it the rest stayed on the ground finds the gaps takes his time strike rate of 80. Tino Best um, had the opportunity of uh, picking up Dhoni, who's going to take strike now. He got a short delivery, and uh, Dhoni went through with the hook, just swiveled on his feet, and it looked once again as if the fielder didn't pick that ball up because um, he was slow to move, Lawson, and in the end, the ball falling well short of him. He's certainly putting in. There's no shortage of effort by the West Indies. Spoke to Bennett King at the start of the day, and he just sort of said he'd like to get their batting clicking. He, he likes these bowlers who, who try hard and can bowl 140 k's an hour. He's got enough of them. Their fielding seems to be making moves, but the batting hasn't clicked for some time. Again, beaten without uh, foot movement. It's uh, something that you just can't do on this pitch. Even in that delivery, hardly any foot movement by Dhoni. Pushing with the bottom hand, scooping it up in there. He needs to work it out that uh, on this pitch you've got to get uh, closer to the ball on most occasions. Dhoni goes again, it's hard, it's high, is it there? Yes, it is, quite easily. And that's the end of the match. Five to win before that delivery. Dhoni cleans it up with a six. What a way to finish. And India have collected the bonus point as well. They've got the runs in 36 overs. 180 finally.